Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Smash JT. What's the most important aspect to a multiplayer video game? Fairness! A level playing field! Something that everyone's all up in arms about with EA and Star Wars Battlefront 2's star cards and how they can be purchased with real world money, making microtransactions kind of helping people be better at a game because they're spending money on it. But what if I told you that's not the only thing that we need to be concerned about when it comes to video games on consoles in the future? Take for example the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro to a lesser extent. They're able to have faster processing power, enabling faster frames per second on multiplayer games that are backwards compatible on their older versions of their system, like the PS4, the PS4 Slim, or the Xbox One and the Xbox One S. The creator of Player Unknown Battlegrounds, Brandon Green, was quoted in an issue of Games TM that PUBG would run at 60 frames per second on Microsoft's Xbox One X console. In fact, he was quoted as saying, definitely on Xbox One X, 60 frames per second. On Xbox One, we're not sure. We may have to limit that at 30 frames per second. We're still constantly improving it, so, you know, the aim is to get 60. That's why we're doing game preview, because I think the great thing about console is it's a locked hardware system, so we can do really specific tweaks that tune it for those systems. And for those of you not familiar with what Game Preview is, it's the equivalent to Steam's Early Access program on the Xbox One. It allows players to purchase an unfinished game playing a build that's still in development and unfinished ahead of release. Similarly to a PC build, it's not fully complete yet, but in a place where players can get involved and play the game already. And as far as what Green stated about the Xbox One X playing at a higher frames per second, he's since clarified that with a tweet stating, While I previously stated that PUBG would run at higher frames per second at Xbox Game Preview launch on 12.12, I want to clarify that PUBG will run at 30 frames per second across all Xbox One devices. We're constantly refining the game and exploring options to increase frames per second, but this early in development, we're unable to confirm more. Which is great! So a lot of you guys are hearing that and saying, okay, they're gonna run it all at 30 frames per second. What's the issue, Jeff? Why are you even making a video about this? Well, I'll tell you, the problem is that the ability to make it higher frames per second on the newer consoles that run these games across all the platforms is what the issue is here. And I foresee this blooming into a gigantic problem once these games actually start being fully functional on the Xbox One X and to a lesser extent on the PS4 Pro. And while a lot of people may think that 60 frames per second compared to 30 frames per second is not a big deal when playing a video game, try playing a first person shooter in 30 frames per second and then going to play it in 60 frames per second and tell me that there's not a silky smooth difference on the 60 60 frames per second game, making it much easier to see players, track them down, and hit them with your shots as opposed to playing at 30 frames per second. Which in a way is kind of a built-in handicap and it goes back to my original point about the Xbox One X and how it is completely unnecessary for this generation of consoles. Microsoft should have held off on the Xbox One X and waited until the next generation of consoles to build a new machine with exclusive games so that they weren't being competitive with people that don't upgrade their original systems. And while an easy argument to make would be, well look at the PCs and how every PC has different specs and some people run it at 60 frames per second and some people run it at 30 and you don't hear them complaining. That's PCs! People build their own PCs, they put what they want into it. We're talking about a console here. The whole point of a console has always been to make something universal that everyone can use and be on the same level with. And by Microsoft and Sony introducing these mid-tier level consoles, it's kind of thrown that to the wayside, making everyone wonder what the hell to do with their money. Should they upgrade? Should they wait? Should they deal with their worst working system? This is the problem with mid-upgrades during a console generation life cycle, and why they are completely unnecessary and actually a bad thing for the multiplayer aspect of the video game industry. Seeing how the PUBG creator was really quick to retract his statement, only taking one day to make an update saying everything's gonna run at 30 frames per second, tells me that that order came from Microsoft itself, saying, whoa, no, we're not gonna be allowing that. But I wonder how long they're gonna be okay with that until they realize the full potential of the Xbox One X and the lore of being able to tote that as a selling point to people who are playing these games wondering if they should upgrade or not 
And if Microsoft is saying, hey, the Xbox One X can play this game at 60 frames per second, as opposed to your original Xbox One or even the Xbox One S playing it at 30 to 40 frames per second, which one are you going to buy as a consumer? It forces people to consider buying a system for way more money than what the old systems do, even though they still play the same games. It gives a competitive advantage to somebody who has the more expensive system. And in a way, it's really not all too different from pay to win schemes. You're just paying more money for a console instead of a download microtransaction. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know down in the comments section what you think about this issue and if you think it's a big deal or not. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.